This is a very exciting time. Chat GPT made it more fun to prepare and teach courses. It's like a whole new world opened up. So many options, so many ideas to play with. In this video, I will share 12 different prompts that I have used to generate content for my course using Chat GPT. I'll be showing you exactly how I use those prompts and the impressive results I was able to achieve. Hello everyone. Chat GPT has become a high valuable tool. It is capable of providing accurate and efficient responses to a wide range of questions and prompts. Ever since I started using ChatGPT, I have been constantly blown away by how much potential it has for transforming the way we teach. The more I have interacted with the bot, the more it feels like I'm communicating with a human who truly understands me rather than simply talking to a computer. It's wild. Here are 12 areas that ChatGPT helped me to get content for my course Introduction to General Education. Stay tuned until the end because I'm going to share a bonus point about DAL E2, an artistic response generator. Let's jump in. Number one, syllabus. As teachers, we are continuously seeking new topics and information to add to our syllabi. Before the semester, I wanted to get some ideas on possible topics for this course. So I went to ChatGPT website and typed, What topics should I teach in my introductory course in general education? And the results were amazing. Most of the topics are already a content in this course, such as critical thinking, effective communication, diversity, global perspective, so many ideas for topics. Number two, lesson plans. One of the topics in this course is SWOT analysis, which stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So I asked ChatGPT for a lesson plan on this topic. Wow, this is quite a comprehensive lesson plan. It includes everything, objectives, materials, introduction, the lecture, practice, conclusion with time. I can always fine-tune this lesson, but it is really a good one already and it saves time. Number three, prompts for class activities. I have taught this course before, but I'm always on the lookout for new activities to keep things fresh and engage my students. So I consulted Chad GPT for suggestions. Create a prompt for group discussion activity in class on the importance of knowing your strengths and weaknesses. I like how the prompt asked for examples from students' experiences. Then I thought that I wanted students to also provide artistic responses. So I typed, add in the prompt an artistic response. It did add the artistic part at the end of the prompt. Each member of the group will create a visual representation of their strengths and weaknesses. This can be in the form of a drawing, painting, collage, and so forth. So you can always refine the prompt. Number four, examples. In lecturing, you sometimes need examples to clarify points. ChatGPT is here to help. Give me an example of how knowing your strengths is useful. Very interesting examples. Career development, teamwork, self-improvement, 
and so forth. Number five, storytelling. Incorporating storytelling in lessons is a great way to instantly capture the attention of your students. But it can be challenging to find relevant stories that align with specific topics and objectives. However, this is no longer an issue with ChatGPT. What is an interesting story about the importance of general education for the first class in the introductory course on general education? A man named John, businessman, emphasis on critical thinking and communication. Pretty good story. Number six, jokes. I always try to use humor in my lessons to make the class more relaxed and fun for the students. But I have to admit, coming up with good and relevant jokes is not always easy for me. So I turn to my friend for help. What is a good joke I can tell in the first class in general education to break the ice? Why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. Ha ha. I wanted to connect the joke to the topic, so I added, connect the joke to the importance of general education. This response actually helps me explain to the class the connection after telling the joke. Very impressive. Number seven, songs and poems. As you know, songs and poems can be a great way to make learning more interactive, meaningful, and fun for all students. Here is what I typed. Create a song about the importance of general education. Interesting. Open your mind and let the learning begin. A world of knowledge for you to dive in. From science to art, from math to history, general education will take you to new territories. Wow! You read the rest of it to see the potential of the AI to create a good song. Number eight, quizzes. Thinking about how this bot help with writing quizzes, here is one I tried. I copied and pasted the text and asked for three questions. Write three questions based on this text. The result, three good questions for quizzes. Nice. Number nine, homework assignments. Sometimes we need ideas for homework assignments. So I asked the bot, Write a homework assignment on the same previous text. I was actually shocked with the ideas. Research, reflection, study plan, a visual, so many options to choose from. Number 10, final projects. I asked ChatGPT for a final project for my course. I typed, Ideas for a final project for the course Introduction to General Education. A research paper, a portfolio, a presentation, a service learning project, a creative project. Good ideas. Number 11. Slideshow presentations. Many of us use slides for our classes. Guess what? Chat GPT will help you with this content. Create an outline for a slideshow for the topic SWOT analysis. Interesting, this is a really good outline with all parts included, definition, tips, examples, and conclusion. Number 12, admin work. I was curious if Jat GPT could help with admin responsibilities, such as creating tables. I knew it was text-based, but I gave it a try anyways. Here is what I got. Create a table for attendance taking that includes 25 students' names and 15 weeks. Although it said it would not create tables, it did. 
I actually copied and pasted it in another document. At least it saved me time in filling in the weak cells. As it was clear in the last prompt, almost all the responses are in a text format in ChatGPT. What if you want an artistic response? I have an answer to that. DALI 2 is another OpenAI program that produces digital images from prompts. Let me show you how it can be used. Similar to ChatGPT, you can enter the prompt, whatever it is, and it generates images for you. Then you choose and refine them further. Here's an example. In the course that I teach, effective communication is one of the main outcomes of general education. I thought I needed an image to show that. So I typed, a female college student talking confidently on stage. Click generate. I got these options. So in this program, you can choose the picture that you like, and you can also ask for more variations of this picture. At the end, you can save it. And for your info, the people in the images are not real people. For this second example, I did not want to use images of humans, so I chose to have a dog representing features of SWOT analysis. I typed a strong dog in a classroom. By the way, as you wait, the website provides you with tips to refine your searches. We have four options again. Choose and ask for more variations until you are happy with the picture. Here's another example, a dog seeing an opportunity. If you're wondering about copyright and the use of images, it's important to understand that the terms for use for OpenAI state that you are free to use, share, and adapt the content as long as you give appropriate credit to OpenAI. OpenAI technologies can provide a lot of opportunities to enhance and improve the way we teach. One thing I find particularly interesting about OpenAI is its ability to personalize and refine learning resources to match the specific needs of the user. The more information and context you provide in the prompts and questions, the more tailored and accurate the responses will be, which I think is truly amazing. I hope you find these ideas helpful to improve your teaching. What are your thoughts on using ChatGPT and DALI 2? Comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Take care and I will see you in the next video.